It's the grandson of Right Thought. So if you notice, every time a grandson is born to the Most High, there's some evil that tries to snuff it out. <laughs> every time. Because that means that grandson is going to come into his inheritance. He's going to grow and when he gets to a certain age, he receives his crown. You see? So if you can parade him through the city and beat him and put that crown of thorns on his head, call him the king of the Jews and string him up before he's able to receive his inheritance, then you're able to thwart that plan, you think. <laughs> but let's just prove what we're saying. We read in Luke chapter 3 that Adam was the son of God. So then Adam's son, born to him, Abel, was the grandson of Abiyah. He's the grandson of humanity, <laughs> of man. Okay? He's the grandson. And when the grandson came, there came a usurper that they're not. There came an enemy to usurp, to try to take, to murder, to kill, to steal, to destroy. You see that? Now let's get some more clarification and see if what I'm saying is true. You got Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We all, as Hebrews, say it. We serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those three, see? The father, the son, and the grandson. There it is again. So out of this story, who's the grandson? That's right. That would be Yaakov, Jacob. He's the grandson. Now, when he came, did there come a usurper? <laughs> so you see how Abba named Jacob supplanter or usurper? <laughs> did there come one? Yep, Esau. You see? <laughs> to usurp, to take. Now on the earth, did Esau run ramshack over the earth, colonizing it? <laughs> to usurp the inheritance of the earth, the rights to it? <laughs> you see that? So then here we stand again. <laughs> the grandson of right thought, standing on the earth. Still holding a flag of truth and love. And the world is crumbling down. Esau's world is crumbling down. He's weakening by the moment. He knows that it's over. So he's trying to destroy it. He's trying to create fires in California to burn up all the trees. See, because if you know about California, you know that there's high chances of a big old tsunami wave. If there's a big earthquake, there's definitely going to be a big ass tsunami wave when it hit California, right? Well, that's why Abba put all those big ass, strong ass trees on the coast. You see? Because he's a loving God. So those trees are able to take a lot of the blow of those waves that crash on the coast. So that it would be dissipated by the time it gets to where anyone lives. You see? So if you know that's coming, then wouldn't you burn all the trees down, cut all the trees down so it can really get towed up? Why? So that Jacob can't take up his inheritance? So that the righteous, right-thinking blood can't take up his inheritance? But like I said, I'm coming for what's mine. Because what's mine is mine by divine right. So the hater can't block it. Remember, Cain? 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 He, he's, his name means hater. <laughs> the hater, you can't stop this. You see that? It's over for you, bro. And we call you broke because that just is what it is, okay? We got the same mama, we understand. But we ain't got the same daddy. You see that? So, we're going to go ahead and put this heel on the back of your damn skull and press into that bitch pop. And all the brains good shop. Remember that? Remember that? You're going to feel that shit. You're going to see what it feels like. Nah. Silo, I'm Mr. Ella.